Their top story at 10 addressing gun violence on the east side. Residents there say it is out of control. And this past Sunday, our cameras were at a scene where medics you can see here treating a man that police say was hit by a stray bullet. This is off North Mittman, close to Hay Street. And police say that he was just sitting in his apartment, minding his own business when he was hit. Ken's Five reporter Megan Vena joins us live. And Megan, people living nearby are hoping for change. Yes, EC is Henry, but they're also fearful, living in fear, afraid to go outside. We spoke to several residents who live at a senior living apartment complex. They don't even go out during the day, but they say if they, they have nowhere else to go. A lot of them were too afraid to speak on camera. We did speak to one woman who wanted her identity to be headed for this story. You need to stop the violence, you know. Sitting outside her apartment in the Harvard Place East Lawn neighborhood, this grandmother points to a memorial for a young man, a victim of gun violence. They carry too many guns. She says the sound of gunfire is all too familiar for residents and the evidence of the violence is visible. The most recent incident we know of was this past Sunday. San Antonio police say it was a drive-by shooting in broad daylight. Two men were hit outside, but police say a 69-year-old man sitting inside his apartment was hit in the butt by a stray bullet. Do you see enough police patrolling the area? No. And I feel safe when the police is around. According to this community crime map, there have been five reported aggravated assaults just within the past month. Since the start of the year, the map shows 10 reports. It's a problem that really keeps me up at night. District 2 Councilman Jalen McKee Rodriguez says the city has invested in more police officers, street lighting and violence prevention programs. But we need our residents to start having conversations with their uncles, their brothers, their sons, their cousins. It's a conversation this grandmother agrees needs to happen. It starts with the parents first. You know, we need to get it together, talk to our kids and stuff. McKee Rodriguez encourages his constituents to speak up. I know there are a lot of people in my community and throughout the city who are fearful of retaliation, and that's such a valid feeling to have. The challenge there is that we can't do anything if we don't have the information. And we did reach out to San Antonio police to see how often they're patrolling that neighborhood. We have not heard back. Meanwhile, they're still searching for those suspects involved in Sunday's shooting. Reporting live, Megan Reyna, Kins 5. Thank you, Megan.